My dear friends in Christ, the Bible verse uh, for our devotion today is from Mark chapter 1. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee proclaiming the good news of God. Time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. Mark 1, 14 and 15. As a pastor, I'd like to look at uh, pastors in the Bible and look at their ministry and, and see how God used them in different ways. These verses introduce us to John the Baptist. John was put in prison. His ministry didn't start out that way. He was the one who was to prepare the way for Jesus, and huge crowds followed John. He had to preach to them and, and baptize many. But his ministry ended. He was put in prison, and eventually John was executed while in prison. I wonder if John had known how things were going to end up if he would have been as bold as, as he was. Jesus picked up for John. After John was put in prison, Jesus started his public ministry. And the difference is Jesus knew exactly how it would end. He was popular. Crowds came to see him. He did miracles. But it ended. It ended when he was arrested and convicted and executed. But Jesus' ministry was different. It was the goal he can lay down his life so that we and John and all people might have forgiveness and powerfully take it up again. Jesus knew exactly where his ministry was leading, and he went straight ahead. We could never have predicted what we're experiencing now in, in our world and in our lives, how this pandemic has come and changed things so dramatically. We never saw it coming. And in some ways, it seems like everything has stopped. Ministry has come to a halt. Services are not in person. School has ended for the year. We're not able to get together in our Bible studies and small groups the way we have. But the gospel goes on. The message of repent and believe the good news continues to go out because the word of God is the same as it's always been. We have the privilege during this time of earthly turmoil to have the consistent message of forgiveness in Jesus. We get to hear it in, in new ways and different ways we get to share it. But it's still the same. The message of Jesus as our Savior, a message that we get to share and proclaim. We're starting to look forward to the time when we can, God willing, get together again as a congregation for, for in-person worship. That won't be better than what we have now. We have the gospel. We have our Savior with us always. But God willing, it will be another reminder of what a blessing it is to get together with our brothers and sisters in Christ around the word of God, to be fed that message that John preached and Jesus preached, and we still hear today to repent and believe the good news. To repent, turning away from our sin and believing that Jesus is our Savior from sin, and trusting that God will use that message to build us up in our faith just as he always has. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, after John the Baptist prepared your way, his ministry came to an end, but yours was just getting started. You traveled around proclaiming the good news that the kingdom of God had come. Your message to the people is repent and believe the good news. You were that good news. Lord, it is encouraging to see you bringing your message of peace to the people of this world. During this time of pandemic, we're not able to travel around and bring the gospel the way we normally would, but we can reach many people online and through social media. Help us to see and seize these opportunities and work through the message we bring today, which is the same one you preached 2,000 years ago. Repent and believe the good news, the good news that you are the Savior of all. Amen. May God bless your day.